How's it going everybody? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we are flying up through the ranks in the little, little base. Got a day off, so we're gonna be doing some more live attacks. Trying to push into hopefully the top 200 today. That'd be pretty nice. Maybe not in this video, but maybe in the next upcoming videos we'll be getting there pretty soon. So not too many people on at the moment, so I have to sort of attack, search, cancel it, let my base get attacked in that circulation. And then I can search and I actually find someone right away, which is very nice. So, this space, we do not have the lava launcher, which is a little bit interesting. And we only have these two arch towers to worry about, so I don't think we even need these minions. I think we can bring in an extra baby dragon. So, we'll start this battle chopper on the left hand side. Should get some really nice value on that side of the base. Clear a path in front of some of these defenses that we eventually want to take out with some of the baby dragons. And hopefully this battle chopper survives long enough to take out the arch tower. I might actually use the ability early to regain some health and position it closer. Ah, oh, the air expo. Darn. So it says, I'm going to try and position it to take out that arch tower, and then it might go for the giant cannon next. I'm not too sure. We will find out here in a moment. Nope. So all that was for nothing, but no worries. We do take out the arch tower. We do find a Tesla, which is perfect. So now we can send in Baby Dragon. Take out this lowered arch tower. Get some splash onto the multi mortar. And holy smokes, our battle chopper's still alive. I was potentially gonna save the baby dragon for something else, but wow. Battle chopper is a boss, man. Nothing can take it out. That's crazy. So we will have to sort of smash through the middle of the base here in a moment with four and five. So we'll be mostly relying on number six to take out the clock tower, the mega Tesla, and oh, number five actually wants to join the party. Help take out the Tesla. Very nice. I will take that all day, every day. Even though they are lower level walls, it still does take a long time to beat through the walls. So. Looks like number four wants to join the party, but, well, we're finding some bombs, so we'll just pause everything, <laughs> let number six finish off the Tesla, so that we can for sure have the three cannon carts going into the next stage. Even if all three of your cannon carts have, like, one hit point, they still can get a lot of value on this second stage. So, interesting, we have these exposed cannons i'm seeing them more and more lately so we actually don't need to bring any barbarians to test for traps since everything's so close to the edge of the base we can uh, deploy our cannon carts on those edges of the base and they're completely safe so we'll have two baby dragons to take out the lava launcher and then we'll use the cannon carts on the other sides of the base to hopefully get some good value and clear out those cannons for us. So I want to be careful of the lava launcher range at the moment. I don't, I'm not sure if we can deploy a cannon cart down south precisely enough to actually get some good value. I think maybe just another one on this right hand side deal with the zappies. I think that should be good. Second, baby dragon. Take out the lava launcher. Beautiful. So now, number five. Can start working on this cannon on the right hand side. Ooh, we got some health. Uh, some help with the troops. Now, number four and number six can take out the zappies. Uh, number four does survive, which is nice. Number six, and number four. Perfect. Alright, so we can just send in our battle machine on this right hand side. Draw the attention of the barbarian. Because number four and number six will eventually take out the cannon and the double cannon. Got all the corner buildings taken out. Working on the crusher at the moment. And now we are all set to cruise around the base. Battle machine should be tanky enough to get through the wall. And it should restore enough health, so. The zap even takes out the double cannon. Very nice. 
six star attack. So let's jump into the next. <coughs> Don't mind me, just dying here <coughs> from water. So, what do we see here? We see some exposed arch towers. We can use some minions to take those out. We've got only the uh, air X bell on this left hand side, so I think our battle chopper <coughs> can definitely take out the. The, uh, yeah, the lava launcher for us. That would be awesome. And then we can prep the rest of the base with these can carts. So we're making sure to take care of the corner buildings first. Don't have to worry about those for time failing. Letting our battle chopper ability charge up to full. We'll use two minions down south. Try to take out this, or oh, not down south. Forgot. We're gonna use the baby dragons down south. So one, two, three, and four. Breath ability, perfect. So now we can send in our other baby dragon, help take out the giant cannon and the lava launcher. And then we'll have our other two minions set up to take out the other two arch towers. That should work out pretty good for us. Making sure to keep these cannon cards moving through the base. Because we definitely do not want to time fail. Number six can take out that cannon. And we are looking pretty good. We've got cannon cards on all sides of the base. Would have been nice to have that air expo go down. But you can't get everything you want sometimes. So, we will have to beat through some of the walls, which may... Be concerning to take out that air expo on the back end but we shall see what we can do number five can take out the crusher which is perfect and then number six should in theory be able to run around the base take out that air expo but just in case number four is beaten through the wall Wow, number six wanted to beat through the wall, too. It doesn't want to round that corner. Interesting. Could have been bad, but we did it clear the first stage with our three cannon carts still alive, which is beautiful. And now we can definitely bring in one pack of barbarians because we have some very suspicious empty spots near these cannons. So definitely be testing for some traps. Definitely be taking out some of the corner buildings here. So let's get Barbarian on the sides. Ooh, we've missed a push trap, which is perfect. Get a full health cannon cart over here, help take out the, the guard post troops. We do find a Tezza, beautiful. Put the weaker cannon cart up top, and then I think we'll do the other Barbarians on the sides here. Just to make sure we don't run any push traps. I think we'll do a cannon cart kind of in the middle here. That should be pretty good. Should get within range of the double cannon, or at least take out the crusher for us. That should be beautiful. And then we'll send in the battle machine up top so that it can distract the multi mortar for us so that our number five cannon cart can hopefully directly target the multi mortar. And then clear that side of the base for us. All those pesky defenses. Want to make sure that number five doesn't get somehow in range of that double cannon. So we'll just let battle machine through real quick. And now we are looking really good. We've got the baby dragon for anything that would cause us any problems. Might as well just send it on the Tesla. Help take out the double cannon. And then we're going to end on the Builder Hall so we don't even have to worry about the Zappies. Because if the Builder Hall is the last building, the Zappies immediately die. So, do one more live attack for you. And we're on to the next base. Wouldn't you know it? It is this layout again. 
People seem to love this layout. I don't know why. Uh, they even have a worse layout because the Air Expo doesn't cover this right hand side. So our Battle Chopper is just going to get insane value on that side of the base. So this base is very weak to this cannon cart strategy. So I highly recommend you use it. Make sure we try to not hit too many traps. We'll have two of the baby dragons set up to take out this left hand side of the base. But we need to take out the gold collector. Ooh, we are finding some issues here. All right, well. Interesting. All right, so we're not going to be able to take out that lava launcher, unfortunately. So we're going to have to... Of that weird angle of the, uh, the Tesla, so we'll have to dance around with the range. Oh, are you serious, man? Wow, wow, all right. Well, we're gonna have to really rely on the strength of the, of the battle chopper here because that push trap was very well placed. And it took out our other cannon cart, so. Be able to take out the lava launcher with the minion. And then I think we have to use a minion on this, uh. This, uh. Mega Tesla here. Hopefully we can take it out. We do take it out, and our heroic minion. Is going to be able to damage up the crusher for us. Gonna be pretty close. I'm actually surprised how close this one is. Just because that baby dragon was slightly off. So I was hoping it was going to take out that gold collector and then angle in, get that breath onto the the lava launcher, but it didn't. So let's hear this layout. It's also very common, so what we do here is we want to make sure we take out this cannon on the left hand side. And then we also want to prep the bottom portion of the base because we want our two baby dragons to angle in to that multi-mortar. Get that breath ability and it will damage up that entire section of the base. So then all we have to worry about is the last arch tower. And then our battle machine is pretty much free to roam around the entire base cause all kinds of damage which is what we want so we get that number seven baby dragon at an angle so it takes out the collector goes for the mortar get that nice breath ability so now we can send in another baby dragon get that breath ability actually damages up the arch tower very nicely i wonder if we can actually take it out in time with the uh the multi-mortar we can beautiful very beautiful. All right, so take the minion with the corner building, and we'll send the battle machine on this right-hand side to kind of wrap around the base. We'll have a cannon cart shadowing him, getting some good support value, and then number four is taking out that central cannon. And now both of them are on mobile mode, and we don't have to worry about them at all. All the defenses are down. And the auto outpost is upgrading, but it would have been one of the last defenses anyway. So we wouldn't really have to worry about those zappies. So, get a very nice six star attack. Perfect. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. We are very close to 2,000 subscribers, so I want to thank each and every one of you very, very much. It means a lot to me for supporting me. So, if you have any questions, I might be doing a Q&A, and I'll be revealing my setup and how I stream and make the videos and stuff like that. So maybe that will be interesting for you. I know some people were requesting it. So until next time, take care.